if we regret it, we'll just dig it up later and deal with it at that point. Hey guys, welcome back to Calico Cow Acres. It's Sunday today and we have another fun little building project that we're gonna do. Yesterday we kind of took a chill day to go to the film festival and hang out and just getting ready for that so we didn't accomplish any projects but today we figured it's a nice day it's cool today we wanted to tackle something but wanted to make it manageable we decided to build some salad bars for our duck run and our chicken run not the uh the pizza hut salad bar style no. but for some greens yeah so they'll just be like little two by four frames with hardware cloth over them that'll allow us to grow three inch tall plants so the chickens won't be able to scratch them up but they'll have an area where they can get some fresh greens growing that they can pick at and eat. Hopefully it'll entertain them a little bit more. Yeah and then we're hoping since the ducks tend to be a lot easier on the ground cover that we'll actually be able to get some clover and different things established in their run area that will just stay alive and growing. Yeah we're gonna put those under the salad bars first and hopefully they'll get established enough that they'll they won't kill them later yeah. on. Yeah, we'll plant from seed in both places, but once it's as tall as the salad bar in the duck area, we'll probably move it and start seeding a new area and hopefully build up some ground cover. And I mean overall, our goal is to get some electric netting so that we can let the birds forage outside of the run but for now that's not really in the budget so we figured we would use some scrap wood i think we are gonna have to get a couple two by fours but yes. yeah. mostly it will be scrap wood that we already have we already have hardware cloth we figure we might as well put them to use so yeah i guess let's go get our supplies get get building this guy's gonna go take a nap foot lengths of two by four left over from our A-frame. I had accidentally cut these when I should have left them long, so I replaced them on the A-frame and we kept these. So these will work for one of the salad bars for like the long sides. These are the only treated ones we have. We have some other untreated stuff, but we're not gonna use that. And then I have a bunch of cut off. They're about two feet long and we will use all of those for the short ends and then the center supports for these. Those are all cutoffs from the A-frame as well because nothing on that was like eight feet long except for the handles. So those are all the scraps that we kept from that because we figure, I mean, you can always find a use for two foot board sections. So. We're so. board hoarders is what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth keeping stuff for a while. If like it sits around forever, I get rid of it. But. <laughs> hey there, guys. What are you guys doing? I got it. Flip flop saves the day. All right. I don't know if I can carry all of them at once, but I can at least get a batch. Just because it's a nice day and we hate filming in the basement <laughs> because it's so dark it's hard to show you guys we are gonna do it out here on the truck bed workbench <laughs> we know we want to make these four feet long we kind of measured out in the chicken run earlier to get an idea for how wide we wanted them to be we're thinking like 18 to 24 inches i am going to measure our shortest piece of scrap and see what that is make sure we can make them all the same size and 
we'll go from there. We'll just kind of see how wide they are. I'm thinking I might make it so the actual growing width is 18 inches. And then that'll make overall the whole thing will end up being like 20, 21 inches with the thickness of the boards. We just don't want them to stick out too far into the run. We still need to be able to get our like garden cart through there to clean out their coop and everything. So. This is like our shortest one. This one's 24 and a half inches. I think I'm gonna cut these to 18 and then mount them on the inside of the end boards like this. That way we get a full 18 inches of growing space. Hi, are you gonna help? We're gonna make three of these total. And like I said, they're only gonna be four feet long. So these will actually get cut off and we'll get two more two foot scrap pieces we can use. These new eight foot two by fours will just get cut in half and they will each make one with the addition of these scraps. So I'm gonna just mark all the short pieces so I can just cut everything all at once. And then we'll start assembling them. This also works out really nicely because 48 inches is the width of our hardware cloth. So making them 48 inches, we don't have to like use more than one piece or anything. We can just cut it to length and staple it up. So I'm gonna mark center on these because There'll be a, a short board at each end and then one in the middle, just kind of support the uh, chicken wire because we expect the chickens to walk all over this and want it to be supported. It'll also help make the whole frame itself sturdier so it's a little less wobbly if we have to move them around. Same thing, other side? Yep. Are you gonna put all of the wood together and then do the hardware cloth all at once? Or are you gonna like trial do one? I was just gonna do it all okay. at once. Like, I was just curious. Do all the woodwork and then do the hardware cloth. <laughs> Nice little salad bar. Yeah. I'm gonna leave you guys with him to finish those while I rake some things because this whole area needs to get cleaned up. I have a smaller piece of hardware cloth here that's just left over from one of our rolls. So I'm gonna just staple one edge and then kind of roll it across and staple it and then cut it off. I'll probably have to get our other roll to finish the other two, but I'll just get started with this one. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah. Well, actually.
Are you gonna trim these edges over here? Yes. Okay. Don't need any chicken toes getting sliced on those things. <laughs> little baby clovers. They're so cute. I like having a clover yard. It looks so much nicer than grass. While he is doing that, I am going to work on another little part of this project and that is these. While we were at Lowe's earlier, we decided to browse the garden center as one does. We picked up two sweet mint plants and the plan for these is they're going to go in the duck run for now. We're gonna put them under this little salad bar that we put in there. See if we can get them to spread. So the idea here is obviously mint smells amazing. So not only will it help their run in general smell better, but it also is a pest deterrent. Hopefully it will keep flies and mosquitoes and whatnot from trying to lay eggs and either the mud that gets in their run because they're ducks and they splash and make mud and then also we're hoping it will spread and become a ground cover in there and obviously ducks are not as destructive to plants as chickens are so we're hoping that if we can get some mint and clover and maybe some other things established in there that even though their little pitter patter feet will smack it down a lot that mint is hardy enough to continue growing even with being trampled on all the time and honestly we let the ducks out to free range a lot of the day so they're honestly they're only in their run for a third of the day usually and that's usually at nighttime when they're about to go to sleep so we specifically picked the mint plants that had the longest stems on them and the reason we wanted to do that you can see with this one especially the reason we wanted to do that is so that we can cut these and stick them in a jar of water and grow roots on them so that we can plant them elsewhere and just propagate them for other uses and also add more to the runs. So this is another mint plant that I actually need to get outside. I've had this propagating for a few weeks now and all I did was snip it off and put it in water and you can see all these roots on here already. So mint propagates very readily. If we regret it, we'll just dig it up later and deal with it at that point but for now we're gonna try it and see how it works okay so I'm just gonna take the longest stems off of these and snip them at a set of leaves it's probably kind of hard to see but you want to cut right above a set of leaves if you look really really closely you might be able to see there are baby leaves that will grow out of here and it will kind of just branch out from there I'm gonna prune this one pretty heavily I'm gonna snip right there and then I'm actually gonna take the leaves off of that. There aren't leaves in the water because those will just kind of get mushy. And then just set it in the water. Go to this one, do the same thing. Trim the leaves off. And you can totally use these leaves that I'm cutting off. This one has all sorts of leaves on it. I'm gonna actually cut all of them off except for those top set. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. So it's still probably not going to stick out of the hardware cloth yet, which is fine. We'll, we'll let it get established and get comfortable in its new soil, which is gonna be filled with duck poop. So probably it will probably really love that. And then hopefully as it grows further, it'll be able to poke through the hardware cloth. These leaves are a little bit bigger than what might fit through the hardware cloth, but we're thinking we're only gonna try and leave the salad bar in the duck run until the plants actually get established. And at the point where they're finally kind of established, we can move that extra salad bar over to the chicken run and then the ducks, we can just let that area grow and hopefully it will be able to stay alive. I'm not 100% sure that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it and see. <laughs> okay, I also wanna say, normally when you are trimming up a plant, any pretty much any kind of plant, you never wanna take more than a third of the plant um, leaf-wise at one time. Obviously, this is more than a third of the plant. It is such an aggressive grower that this won't kill it whatsoever. It is gonna love this, it's gonna thrive, it's gonna keep growing. 
It'll send out more shoots and more leaves and it will be just as happy as if I left it. So <laughs> I'm not concerned about this, but if this were any other kind of plant, I'd be a little bit more cautious with how much I'm taking. But in the case of mint, I don't really follow rules. <laughs> so we're just gonna take all of these and take all but those top leaves off. So they're naked stem. You can pinch them or cut them with scissors, whatever you're feeling. I just counted these. I took all the leaves off of them. See this little, this bundle we've got here. We paid $4 each for these. So that's $8. Obviously that's two mint plants. But with all of these cuttings, we have the potential for 23 more mint plants just this first time. And obviously in the future, these are gonna grow more. I could snip these more. So it's just infant, infamint? Infinite mint. I would love this to grow aggressively in the duck run and anywhere else. Honestly, I love mint. If I'm gonna have weeds that I need to pull up, I would love for it to be mint rather than Bermuda grass or something else that I really can't use for anything. So if I'm gonna weed things, they might as well be useful. So I'm gonna plant mint all over the place and I don't really care if it spreads. I'm gonna pop these back in the water. If I can get them all in there, let them root. I'll try and remember to update you guys on how this is going. I've been kind of wanting to do a really early spring garden tour because we do have things growing. It's minimal, but I feel like it would be fun to show you just like the status of everything right now versus how it's gonna look in a couple months when we actually start putting our warm weather veggies out there and whatnot. It's gonna look completely different and it's still growing food right now. So I might do a quick little late March, early April garden tour just so that we can see how far it comes in the summer. Let me know if you'd like to see that. They're gonna be so happy about these. I hope so. I have no clue where the garden trowel is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the hoe and uh, make a few little divots down here and just pop them into. And I might try splitting it up a little bit. If there are multiple roots, root systems in there I can use, I will spread them apart. You don't have to propagate those in water, the ones that I showed you in the jar. I could just pop those in the ground and they'd probably grow roots, but I just like doing them in the jar because it works better for me. I get a better, result usually with more of them growing roots than if I just pop them in the ground. But it's definitely an option if you want to go the easy route. They look nice. Yeah, I think they turned out pretty good. Ready to gift them to our birds? Yes. I can move them over if I have to. Okay, I think. Yeah. Goodness. After we get the ones set in the chicken run, we can go get our clover seed and sprinkle in there. Yeah. The chicken trampolines. 
So this is just white clover seed that we get in bulk at the local nursery. We're gonna spread this in here. Like we kind of mentioned earlier, we'd like clover to kind of take over in here. In the, we, duck, in the duck run. In the duck run, yeah. We think it should be hardy enough to withstand little duck feet. I mean, our yard is all clover and they don't ruin it at all. No. Once the roots are established, they don't really harm plants too bad. <laughs> We're hoping to get clover established throughout here. And then we will spread oats in the chicken ones for now. Yeah, so they'll be like permanent salad bars for the chickens, but we're hoping to be able to move this one into the chicken run in the future after we get some stuff established here in the, in the duck run. Which we should probably seed it pretty heavily because I'm gonna. it's gonna roll down the hill. Yeah, and I mean <laughs> like having the, uh, the ground broken up with the rake will really help. Yeah, which honestly, you could probably sprinkle some on this other side too. And I they... was thinking that too, they might not really go over there, or they might. If they snack on it, oh well. This ground's pretty wet, but I don't know, maybe later I'll drag the hose over and water everything that we plant here. We just have feed oats that we seeded the orchard with last year, um, and they grow really well, even though they're meant for snacks, so. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even like, plant them in the orchard last year we just kind of went out and threw down the oat and a lot of it grew down there yeah treat pit stop there you go duckies you guys are so sweet so right now we'll spread the oats in here for the chickens but i am gonna hop online and try to order some fodder seed or something similar. I can't think of the correct word right now, but I'll try and pop it on the screen what I plan to order to actually seed these salad bars for a little bit of a variety. I actually have uh, a bunch of sprouting radish seeds, like a huge bag of them. So we could probably sprinkle some of those in their salad bars too. It's pretty easier to sprinkle them with your hands. Tofu? Oh, she realized there's treats. <laughs> All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I hate to break it to you, but we didn't plan this ahead so we can show you the after it grows footage, but I will try, yeah, yeah we'll try to update you and show you it growing hopefully in the next yeah, couple I mean, weeks. If we remember to water stuff and we get enough rain, I mean, the clover really only takes a few days to sprout. Mm -hmm. um, the oat grass, we'll see. We definitely spread it later last year. Yeah, we we should be getting some rain this week and it's very well fertilized in there because of all the chicken poop. We'll at least try to remember to update you guys on that and I think that's gonna be it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. are just babies. Hey duckies. Okay. <laughs> uh half 48. 24.
It's like a little chicken trampoline. Yeah. So hopefully it will keep. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Infamant. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if you don't think I'm funny. It's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> that was, that wasn't. Okay. All right. Uh, what else do I say? Mm -hmm.